Hey, what is up people? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix all of your FPS issues, frame drops, stuttering in Rainbow Six Siege. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to leave a like. Also leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and for that open up settings on your PC, then open up game mode then make sure that game mode is turned on. Enabling this will help you in multiple ways. Firstly, it turns off the background notifications as well as it turns off the applications running in the background that will be decreasing your performance in the game. Right after that, go to Xbox Game Bar and make sure that this is turned off since it consumes a lot of memory running in the background. Then go all the way down to graphics and right over here, click on change default graphics settings and enable hardware accelerator GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will ensure that you utilize your GPU over your CPU and your input latency is always set to low. Now back again in the graphics section, you will find a list of all of the applications and games that uses your GPU whenever you're playing the games. Over here, you need to find Rainbow Six Siege if it is already added right over here. For me, Rainbow Six is already added. So what I need to do is simply go to options and then click on high performance. Now, once again, if you don't find it over here, you can always click on this browse button and then go over to the installation location and add Rainbow Six Siege from there. Step number two is the best NVIDIA control panel settings. And this will ensure that you are utilizing the most out of your graphic card to get better performance in your game. And for that, you need to search up for NVIDIA control panel. And once it opens up, you need to select the adjust image settings with preview select use advanced 3d image settings click on take me there and it will take you to manage 3d settings now over here you need to select all of these same settings that i am showing you guys Once you're done applying all of these settings, go to Configure Surround and Physics and from the processor, choose your GPU right over here. Also, go to Adjust Video Color Settings, click on With NVIDIA Settings, go to Advanced and then select Full if it is already set to Limited. Now, if you don't see a full range over here, don't worry, you are already using the limited range, which is allowed by your monitor. You also need to go to adjust desktop size and position. And over here, make sure that your resolution is set to your native resolution and your refresh rate is set to highest, whatever is available with your monitor. Step number three is defragging your disk. And it is very essential and it will help you to optimize your gaming performance. For that, simply search for defragment and optimize drives. Simply open it up and you will find in your local disk C. This is what we are concerned with. Now, if your local disk C is a hard disk drive, you can simply click on analyze and it will fragment your hard disk drive. But if you are like me and you're using a solid state drive, you need to simply click on optimize and it will start trimming your SSD. Now, make sure that trimming your SSD is really healthy and you should do it. This increases the performance of your SSD in the long run. Now, step number four is fixing all of your network issues using exit lag. Exit lag is a free to use application for three days. If you go to the link in the description below, you can download it straight from there. It helps you to tunnel your internet connection from your PC directly to the game servers, which helps you to reduce your ping and latency issues. It also fixes your packet loss at the same time. Once you have downloaded and open exit lag up, the application should look like this. Now on the left hand side, you will find a list of over 1000 games to choose from and you can simply search for Rainbow Six Siege right over here. Select the nearest game region to you, that is Asia for me. However, you can select the manual server that are near to you. For me, it is Singapore 01 and as you guys can see, it shows me an estimated of 60 milliseconds of ping, which is definitely lower than what we get in game if you do not use exit lag. Simply click on apply routes and that will add your game to the recents list and this will help you to optimize your ping issues as well as packet loss at the same time. And if exit lag helps you out, you can choose a monthly, semi-annual or annual subscription that will help you to get better performance in the game. Also, and if you go from the link in the description below, you can get a flat 10% off on any of the subscriptions. So make sure to go and choose it. Step number five is creating a restore point and this is also super beneficial. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here, select your local disk C, click on create and name it R6 just so you remember it and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential and it is really beneficial. If anything goes wrong or you want to restore any settings, you can always come back and do it from here without any data loss. Step number six is Rainbow Six Siege new FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can go and download it from there. If you're facing any issues downloading this pack, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now simply open this folder up and you will find in four simple folders. First one is the CPU priority. 
you need to open it up you need to run the increase power efficiency this will help your pc to improve your power efficiency next is the amd and intel priority now if you're using an intel based cpu you can use the intel cpu priority and if you're using an amd based cpu you can use the amd cpu priority then in the second folder you have ram optimization and i personally use 32 gigabytes of ram if you don't know what ram you're using you can simply search for system information on your pc and right over here you will find install physical memory it is 32 gb for me so i need to run this one however i have left a ton of presets for you guys you can choose among that and also if you don't like the performance you can always reset it back to default third one is the best rainbow six siege config and over here i've also left a rainbow six siege high priority you need to simply run it and also copy the game settings i and i and then you need to go over to documents then my games and over here you'll find rainbow six siege right in here you'll find this one now if you use multiple accounts there will be multiple folders but since I use only one account here is my folder and here is the base ini settings file you need to copy and paste it on your desktop just so you can keep a backup and simply paste a new file over here and this one will automatically set the best settings in your game so you don't have to and once you're done with that go back to the fps pack open up the fourth folder which is the steam launch options simply copy this string over here open up steam go to library select rainbow six siege right click go to properties and then simply paste it in the advanced options and close it and now you can run rainbow six siege and get better fps right away so guys i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to leave a like and smash it subscribe button down below also don't forget to check out peeps from the link in the description below we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out